In the last two episodes, we talked about choosing the factory options. But in this episode, we introduce you to a great marina in the centre of Fort Lauderdale until we get evicted and have to navigate our way out to find a safe anchorage at Lake Sylvia. Marina, which is actually a river, and it goes, you know, a long way and snakes and winds and carries on. Like rivers do. Like rivers do. But I really like it here. People told us that it was dirty, um, there's a lot of current, and yes, there is. At certain times. At certain times. Um, it's noisy, and yes, it is during the day when there's lots of cars going over bridges. But you know, it's got a certain vibe. It's you know, it's got some cafes and restaurants. Nice, and nice walkways, very yeah. close to the middle of town. It's even got a jail, <laughs> you know, nice and handy right there. Just in case we step out of line. Yeah, but I really like it. I think it's got a really nice atmosphere. It's cool, it's tropical. Um, there is a bit of rip going through the river. Obviously you get some boats driving past that give a bit of swell, but it's not really too bad at all. Mm. And, uh, and there you are very close to the middle of town. So. Yeah. It is actually very convenient. So for us, we, um, we're at a powered site and we can get water too. And we're paying, what? Like $1.80 per foot is the price you pay here. Yeah, so we're here for about a week or so. Um, not really enjoying it, actually. <laughs> I really like oh, the convenience. The other advantage is, you can see here, like our car is actually parked on this side of the road. Mm -hmm. It's like a 10 metre walk from the car to the boat. So when we've got to unload shopping or all the- Humphing gear. All the shopping, shopping, shopping that <laughs> Honey's doing. Um, it's actually very it's easy really to- Yeah. So let's just do a little spin. So behind us there is Andrews Avenue Bridge. And that's just about to open up. But you can see, and Los Olas, which is one of the main streets in town, is like one block that way. So like when you are here, you can easily get about. Yeah. But one disadvantage is, to get here you've got to go through about four or so bridges mm. on the way up the river but you know it's no big deal and they open very quickly you don't have to hang about very much mm. so it's and admittedly good. it's not a long-term thing because you'd certainly get we would get really, um, over all the noise and and the chaos that, that's around but it's, you know for a short stay it's actually very convenient I really like the location and it's pretty cool being being close to shops right, and right there in the middle of town yeah, yeah. see so here we have a cafe or a bar a bit of both somebody singing on the far side of the river do a little spin not really we can't, we can't throw her any money because it never make it that far <laughs> but we always try to um, support Look local last. artists and talent and things like that just to keep them encouraged because we have musicians in our family and our very good friends are musicians and we really want to keep encouraging people. And we're here in our Leopard 50 but we are dwarfed by these huge motorboats that either get towed or motor up past us. There's a little monohull coming past and as you can see over the uh, river there's a Leopard 58 as well so we are um, not a big boat by comparison to a lot of the other boats that are up this river so whatever size of boat you are you have you can get through here if we do a little spin you'll be able to see the bridges going up because there's some boats that want to go through a boat a boat there's a bar floating on the water behind us and this is the basically boardwalk 
but over here, there's that big tall building right there. So you may think that that is, um, you know, shops and offices and things like that, but that's actually the jail. And they have got the most amazing view over the marina and over the river. Talk about luxury. There you go. Pretty impressive. You get the best seat in the house. <laughs> anyway, we'll go and catch up with John. He's at the marina office. Oh, here comes one of my favorite humans now. <laughs> we can go wherever we want in the world. We can! Together. Yay! <laughs> we'll just get some walking footage, that's all. If we're really lucky, John might break into song or dance or something like that to entertain us. <laughs> Let me take you to the edge. I live on the edge, baby. Or is that where you pick me up from? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite like being in France. It is. The yeah. rivers and the canals. Check out that. It's pretty kind of currenty and wild. I think where we are it's a much, much better place. And they've got the road as well. Third Avenue. The little boats just come through there, but you can see you can see the current. South East Third Avenue. We're here at the New River Marina. And this is Ultramarsh. Very convenient. The bridge makes a really weird noise when cars go over it. Here's home. We're approaching the marina office now. It's actually I come to use the toilets because when you've got folding tanks we'd rather at the moment use the toilets up here. And the shelves and holds are quite clean. You've got to put a code in to get in. And so there's laundry, men's toilets, women's toilets, uh, air conditioning. <laughs> you sound Aussie. Hope you enjoyed that little tour of New River Marina. Bye for now. So this is home for about a week and we'll keep provisioning ready for the Bahamas and just wait for that weather window. Cheeses, jams, and condiments. So, bon appetit. Got enough stuff, honey? Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> 20 cents each, what a bargain. It is. You guys know how to shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who did all the shopping there, honey? <laughs> this is just another provisions run. Just taking a bit of time to sit out the front here on the, in the cockpit, uh, front cockpit, and it's absolutely beautiful. And here comes one of my favourite humans right now. 
I was going to have a quiet monologue oh, yeah. and I was going to have a deep and meaningful to these guys and let them know what it really feels like because people have been sort of wanting to know how does it feel like what are you guys doing what do you think what's it go what's going on and have to edit that bit out <laughs> little little story okay Laurent from just catamarans sent us an invoice mm -hmm. and he called the boat barefoot lady <laughs> I thought that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> so he must have oh he must have got that from barefoot doctors and thought the boat must be barefoot, something or other. So that's pretty good. Why not throw in lady? Well, I presume the lady, <laughs> the boat is always a lady. Mm -hmm. Yes. Either definitely. that or it's you. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Could be worse. And it could be bare something else, lady, <laughs> bare-breasted lady, or something. <laughs> I presume it's. <laughs> Wait, you're so good. I'm trying to get out to the Bahamas and get a bit of freedom. I am. Get me to the Bahamas. So, the other thing is, you got a very big compliment from the guy who's doing the rock rail. What's that? He said. Your wife is so beautiful. Oh, did he? Did you? That's sweet. Hmm. I said, thank you very much. I know. <laughs> I'm very blessed. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? It is. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, that'll leave you to have your deep meaning. No, no, I just completely dropped it. It'll have to be another time that I am in a contemplating mood. Mm. Hmm. Anyway, it's lovely that you're here. What do I have to? Who do I have to <laughs> get a cup of tea around here? <laughs> Well, John's in getting me a cup of tea. I thought I'd spend a little bit of time out here in the front cockpit just to just to regroup. Oh my goodness! A lot of people have been saying, you know, what's it like? How does it feel? You know, your your dreams have come true, and and you you you've, you've got your boat, and and it's it's so surreal because when you have a a dream and you know a plan for for so long and then it seems so surreal as it's being realized and here it is right here we're sitting on the manifestation of our long-term dream right here a boat and i'm just letting it soak in because it's been quite a whirlwind to get here um, we've had delays in flights, we've been traveling for three days plus and to actually just sit and to absorb that um, we're in the presence of realizing our dream is the most amazing feeling that I've ever had. And I'm beside myself right now. So that's why <laughs> I show you this picture. <laughs> Anyway, everything's so clean and fresh. It will probably never ever be this clean and shiny ever in its life again, but I'm really enjoying <laughs> the really squeaky clean and shiny surfaces. I'm enjoying the whole thing actually. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because I am literally beside myself. See you later. After four days and four nights at the New River Marina, they no longer had space for us, so we had to leave. So we headed to Lake Sylvia to hang off the hook, to finish preparations and wait for the weather window for us to head to the Bahamas. Catamaran at 3rd Avenue going inbound, are you happy to wait for me to pass? I'm the catamaran approaching you, over. Thank you guys. Andrews Avenue Bridge, this is outbound sailing vessel Catatonic requesting an opening uh, just past the river bridge. Third Avenue Bridge, uh, never say that. Seven bridge up cap, I've got to clear traffic. I'll uh, get an opening started as soon as it's safe to do so. Please stand by on 0 9, thank you. Yeah.
beautiful Florida tropical feel. Some of them look a little bit sort of hacienda, like so they're probably about 30 years old or something like that. Some of them are brand spanking new <laughs> and they're just amazing. So you can see those little inlets all through this area here. So the beautiful people live in houses right on the bank there and then they have their power boats or their sail cats moored up right next to their house. Good for them. Friday morning just like the mill pond. It's beautiful and flat and calm. The side of that boat looks like their dinghy's deflated and half sunk. Can you see it? It is too. Oh god. But it doesn't look new, it looks like it looks like it's been there for a while. There's like um, barnacles on it. Well, when we got the dinghy down, we can take a run over there. Yeah. I wonder if there's someone on board. Okay, guys. Well, we're we're leaving it a bit late, but we're going under that bridge there, and the tide's rising, which means it's going to be really, really tight. So we've got to get right underneath, right down low. living on the edge. <laughs> That's what it's like when you live with this guy. <laughs> he oh, makes me do weird things. We had about three eggs to spare, huh? Oh, plenty of room. You're not spend right. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. We're going to town. We're in our car. So, off we go. Really nice houses along this River Way. Really exclusive. Uh, always a little bit of a, a hazard. We haven't got life jackets on yet. Uh, so it's a hype of activity around here. That bridge opens and closes about every half an hour. We've got to get across this waterway and get to the other side before any really big ships come through. So, a little bit of Russian roulette, but <laughs> hey, I'm kind of used to that. So, anyway, we'll make it across here and we'll find a place to tie our dinghy. All right, folks, so here we are on this beautiful sunset on Lake Sylvia. Oh, and what do we have here? So we're just going to get the dinghy up onto the platform. Starts off with this, which is the lever. And the electric platform. Oh, 
Closer to the How deck. cool is that? We're not going on a big sale, so I'm not going to do a big amount of tie down. So all the shopping has to be unpacked, but fortunately, it doesn't have to be hauled up from the dinghy at the water level. So look how easy it is. Look how easy he makes it look. <laughs> <laughs> It really is very convenient though, isn't I mean, it? That standing, the difference about standing on a rocky dinghy, lifting heavy stuff from down there up to there. This oh, no. is luxury. It is. What does that one contain that it's so heavy? Liquid. Liquid. Oh, liquid gold. The juices of life. would be much easier if you had two, another pair of hands, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Brilliant, I love it. If you have liked this episode, hit the like button subscribe for free and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and health from the Barefoot Doctors. You're right.